Hi guys, welcome to another video. Okay, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the situation which happened, why I left Namibia, why I'm back in Sweden. And uh, pff, I've been going through a lot of things right now, so here's a quick little update. So I'm in Namibia, I'm just about to start season two of the Otega and Yambo show where we're filming with models. We have, you know, we have this schedule of all the people which we're gonna work with. And as I go to the bank, I notice that there's something wrong with my card. So I put in the card and I get like, it's, it's not working right now. I get like a message, okay? So then I'm like, that's weird. Okay, I come back home. I look at my internet banking. I log in, try to log in, I can't log in find that also very weird. So what I have, cause I have this like, uh, it's called a DUSA here in Sweden. I try to log in through my DUSA and I can't log in. It says something about like the personal number is frozen. So I'm thinking, I'm like, I haven't done anything illegal. Why would they freeze my personal number? Cause that's a pretty serious offense. What I do is I phone my brother because he used to work at the bank before. I have a conversation with him. He says, that's weird. That doesn't usually happen. I research it on the internet. I read, I read, I read. I can't find any information. I start thinking, what, what can it be? Like, uh, because it's maybe just like a, a glitch or an error or something. The next day I wake up, I can't really go to sleep because I'm thinking about this the whole night. I uh, phone my bank, right? I asked them, what could it be? And what they say, well, at the moment, we can't really give you any information about this just because we don't, we don't know that it's you. And at that moment, I get very irritated because I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in a different country right now, not in a foreign country. Of course, I'm in my home country, but I'm in Namibia right now. I have a lot of funds on my bank accounts and I can't get to them. What is going on? Uh, the person which I'm talking to at the bank says the best thing that you can do is you can just try to get yourself back to Sweden if you can. I'm trying to explain to this person now. I'm like, how am I supposed to get back to Sweden if I don't have my funds? Can you, can you explain that to me? And why would you guys shut down my accounts? I start yelling at the guy, of course, trying to explain to him like the situation that I'm in. The person that works in the bank doesn't... There's nothing really anything that he can do because he doesn't want to open up my bank accounts and then it could be something fraudulent. I talked to my mom, we, you know, because I was supposed to do a lot of things with my company there in Namibia, we make a decision where I have to go back. I buy the first plane ticket. I fly over. The flight was actually pretty good. I flew with Lufthansa back to Sweden. It's also Lufthansa we took when I moved to Sweden for the first time. So we fly back. I'm in Frankfurt for the first time. And if you guys haven't been to Frankfurt, it's a huge airport because I think it's one of Europe's biggest airports actually. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm in Frankfurt. I'm waiting for my, my flight. Um, and then I just started to notice like small little things, you know, like I I know I've been talking about uh, maybe I haven't been like the biggest supporter of, you know, Europe, but just being in Frankfurt and just being able to use such fast internet and just like, you know, it got me a little bit excited to come back home. Uh, so I flew over from Frankfurt to Sweden, uh, arrived at Orlando. Went straight to the bank. I, I talked to a girl which was working at the bank. A very nice girl. She looked into the case. She said that there's something, they did like a mistake. They weren't supposed to freeze my accounts. They said that it was gonna take two or maybe three days to open up all my funds and everything. And uh, now the dilemma that we have, me and my bank, is just somebody has to pay for the plane ticket because I did not do anything wrong. I send in all the papers for my stocks and everything, but the problem apparently was that they did not see that somebody just like jumped over it and then just thought that like I maybe like left the country and I wasn't gonna come back. So uh, what's gonna happen to the Ortega and Yambo show? The Ortega and Yambo show is gonna continue. I have one more episode which I'm gonna release and then hopefully I'll be in Namibia by the time that episode comes out. So that's just a little bit of update of what has happened. 
Oof. But um, yeah, so like, comment and share if you want to see videos like this. And okay, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, peace. Vad tycker du? Vad tycker du? Snyggt, 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 snyggt. Jag skulle märka om jag inte var singel så det skulle jag